This is Grand Central Terminal. It is a terminal because trains terminate here. It goes from 42nd Street out those doors all the way up to 97th Street. You like Grand Central Station? Yes. What do you like it for? The ceiling. What about the ceiling? The stars in the ceiling. I love it. How long have you worked here? Um, probably a year, about now. Mm -hmm. You like it here? Yeah, it's really nice here. And how did you end up working here? Um, I just applied online and then I got a job here. You're doing an animated short film? Uh, yeah. but they're going to talk about getting a job here? Thomas! Go ahead, I'm listening to you. Uh, you know, like, you, you see the station differently than people who just come through here to use the train? You know? I don't deal with the, the customers. I just do my job. I'm yeah, on. so what do you do? I'm an electrician. Electrician? Yeah. Do you work with, the, with uh, Grand Central often? Or do you this is my permanent job. But when I meet tourists, they always are angry and upset with New Yorkers. They say, you know, guys, you move so fast, you go, you know, like, it's like you push, like you push your elbow through, you know, like you push us, you know. I mean, I'm sorry, but I have to pass by you and you don't even see me because you're admiring these beautiful buildings, right? I, so I just, yeah, I touch you, I don't push, I touch you slightly. You feel it, it's pushing you because you're from countryside. You don't know, nobody had touched you for five years except for your wife, maybe. They can't believe New York City. They're in complete awe. I mean, it's part of the problem with walking behind them on the sidewalk is that they are stunned beyond mobility when they approach the Chrysler building. You know, they can't, like all of a sudden, it's like, wait a minute, did, you know, somebody dropped dead in front of me? Is this John, is, is this John Boynton, Midnight Cowboy, just step around? Supposedly across Grand Central, someone listening, and you didn't have to be shouting or anything, would hear you talking even in a low tone. I always wanted to do that experiment. There. Yeah, I've done that. Um, successfully? It's the same, it's just one room. Okay. But it's like the kind of pillars. Okay. And they have these corners so that if you're standing at one. One. And it's and the it opposite? Out. Yeah. So it's the same, okay. it's not a huge room, but it's still very uh, it's obvious. It's that effect. I mean, the information booth is, um, is one of the most important meeting places in all of New York because you can always say, I'll meet you in Grand Central at the information booth. And that's all you have to say. Am I bothering you? Uh, it's all right. This is cool. I'm trying to find my partner. Thomas! It comes in uh, into the station with this force and it has that American flag on it. And every time, it's just not fails me, every time when the, the car, somebody car comes in, subway train comes in the station, I am like feeling so patriotic because it's such a powerful, powerful engine, powerful machine. And I feel like it's so much power and I belong to it. That said, the subway cars ironically are built in Canada. <laughs> yeah, I love the ceiling, the constellation things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I spend the time to just staring at the ceiling. And, uh, People walk by and it's like, a, you know, there's no system. It's like a pigeon walking, you know, people like a pigeon, you know, like a crossing each other, but it's not touching each other and not bumping, but it's like a pigeon. That's just, there's just a lot of dignity there. And you know when you're walking through there that, you know, you're walking through a place that's very special. You just, you do, with the conductors with their hats, the train calls, you know, it's just a really, it's a really, listen, I love Grand Central. You know what? I would like to be the damn ceiling. The ceiling. The ceiling those, is beautiful. With the astrology, uh, yeah. Now you'd be shining. Because I always. You'd be the star of Grand Central. I am because Aquarius is the biggest one and that's me. Oh, I'm just a Pisces. And the Gemini, <laughs> do you see Gemini up there? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs>